Hello ladies and some mangy hobgoblins, it is the daily challenge for August 27th. Perhaps we can do again what we did before. We have done it a bunch of times before, but it's always different. Squonky is always a brand new experience full of excellent and fantastic adventures and never a dull moment. Put that there, they put that there, and also this spot. I don't want to be using ropes to bring him back up, that would be pretty damn stupid. So we're going to grab these uh, emeralds over here, thanks to them being out of grasp later on. I don't want to spend resources to get back up and get $10,000, that would be pretty dang, freaking doom, I think. Ah, jeez, I have to skip that whole level, huh? That it ain't cool. I'm very much hoping not to get more gems, because then I will feel obliged to ghost them. I've already kind of committed to this path. And uh, that was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> they don't mean to do that, and quite clearly I ain't going to... I guess I could do the stupid jump to get up there. That is a thing that can happen. Could happen. We'll see. There's nothing down there. There's a crate, though. This bomb shall grant me access to it. I wonder what is therein contained. Uh, but this jump is possible, like we are well aware of. It just takes a lot of work. And it's, it's something that I want to do. It's something that I want to do. <laughs> nope. Just gotta time that jump so, so tightly. There's no way I'm going to do it on purpose. Nope. Nope. Not gonna happen. And what is the point of doing this? Really, I don't think there is one. It was there with Major Stupid and stuff. But let's just do this. Ah, it's too bad. I got ropes. Uh, I guess I could use the ropes to get back up. But nah, let's just simply move on forward. Who the hell cares, man? Let's just move on from 1-1 and move into the, you know, the interesting part where you get a freaking jetpack. And... I only have three bombs, though. Don't do this at home. I might kill myself here. Full on uh, disclosure and disclaimer. If I don't get this right, it will be death. But there was no death. There was success. And there is a vault here, so I am ever so vindicated not to have used the bomb to get in there. Not to have used the bomb to kill that guy. The thing is, though, here's the giant problem that I have. I guess it's not really a problem, but the, the conundrum, the dilemma, the beautiful choice that I am forced to make at this juncture. And that is either... Uh, either getting to the vault, for sure, or risk going for that crate. I'm going to go for the crate, because I think that is that, that is the biggest chance of the success. It's not necessarily what will work, but I think I have the biggest chance of success if I do something like this. Go for that crate, I'm hoping for three bombs, and it's instead of machete. That is not exactly what I was hoping for. It is possibly the exact opposite of what I was hoping for. So now I am left with this choice of do I risk going for this guy and I'm uh, having a real bad time getting to that vault and getting him dead or do I move on? And clearly the choice has already been made by me saying I'm just going to go in there. I'm just going to go in there and do that. Oh, <laughs> that was, I was pretty lucky that worked out the way it did. Um, Oh, jeez, I keep doing that. I wanted to just grab the money, not the actual uh, emerald. I have wasted so much money in this one. I'm going to be getting there. So basically, since I have picked up so many of the resources in this level, all I'm doing is ghosting the vault. Because there was so much gold. So much more money. I probably picked up a stupid amount, like fifteen to $20,000. With all the mistaken uh, gems. That I had grabbed. So I think the easiest way to go about this is to stand here. <coughs> and of course now we are at the mercy of finding uh, bombs. But uh, the reason I took that that uh, chance is one, it is the right thing to do. Where you know you take the risks, go all out, try to get that money. If it doesn't work out well, there's always tomorrow. But I'm not going to pass up on a freaking ghostable vault if I have even the slightest choice. So that's what's happening here. And uh, the other reason I didn't feel too bad about going to zero is that we're still in 1-2. 
and uh, crates abound. And also, we are bound to find, I mean, if we're lucky, we're bound to find us, uh, an additional store. They are very likely to at least contain a bomb bag. So all of these factors combined push me to say, yeah, using those two bombs was the right call. We'll see, though, whether there's a crate with bombs. Here's our first candidate. And we get the compass, which is the one thing we already had. So not working out yet. Just give it time. Of course, we're going to save all pots now that we have the... Now that we have the ability, the resources, the means to do it, we're going to save all those pots to blow them up at once. Of course, if we get the, the bombs to do that. But clearly, I'm not going to be going throwing away my precious few bombs that I have left by uh, throwing it into that cluster of pots that we kind of don't. But uh, maybe we could use a powder keg if I had uh, access to that stuff down there. We could do a series of things. A series! You understand? There's the exit right there. I is in a very inconvenient spot. Don't like it. But it seems like I can indeed get in here. Everyone get in here! I mean, just, uh... Despite myself, I picked up... <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I knew that would happen! I was like, don't get too close, don't get too close because that happens. And I got too close anyway, because I was way too careless. That's sad, that's super sad. That's so pathetic, that's too bad. <laughs> but hey, I styled the crap out of me, hopefully it startled you as well. Let's go into, <laughs> into adventure mode and try to get to the end, I suppose. Not much to, to do here, I don't really feel like doing is playing some Splunky, getting to the end. And I was maybe thinking of going to speedruns in the next uh, thing that I do with Spelunky. The, thing that you, the next thing that you'll find. That startled the crap out of me, man. That was super startling. I was trying to use the jetpack just now. Let's uh, get used to the idea that that's gone. My jetpack is completely wasted. Pretty sad. Pretty sad indeed. I didn't even check the daily scores whether it was a good seed or not. Maybe I just didn't want to depress myself. Oh, that was a terrible move. I didn't want to depress myself seeing, oh, well, I could have made it 2 million if I hadn't been stupid about it. But, oh shit, I was about to use the jetpack again. But it uh, didn't work out that way. Don't know why. It's kind of weird how the jetpack disappears from one run to the next. Uh, something that is difficult to get used to, I guess. But I don't know why I did that on that to be fancy and whip that spider. That was it right straight ahead above me. Oh man, and that's something that has happened before too. Is I leave something next to a powder keg, I just miscalculated. Before I did, just didn't know. Like for example, I, I remember trying to drop the the shotgun next to a powder keg, thinking, uh, oh I need to go back to grab something. Let me leave the, the shotgun right here. And you know, I explode immediately. Because that item let me demonstrate. If you don't know what the hell happened there, let me demonstrate what happens when you drop an item. It moves forward a little bit. That item moving forward a little bit uh, triggered the the powder keg because you know the smallest, the smallest touch will trigger it. I'm very sad, honestly. I'm very very sad because you know jetpack on one dash two does not happen often. So I am sad, and I worked so hard to get that jetpack too. I mean I. I had to pull off this kill, which is... Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, good. Good deal. Good, good deal. We left. Is he just standing there? Yeah. Do that, I guess. Okay. Uh oh That's a bad move, but uh, I can get back there. No problem. Let's be... Let's be safe to do this. <clears throat> so, he's down there. The, the vault is right there for the taking. And there's also a damsel and a, a Caliopter up there. Major stupid, it takes two bombs to get to. We're going to do it. We're going to do it! No big dealio. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm grabbing the money, as usual. No longer necessary. But there's a Kali out there, so we want to do it. Wanna do it? I guess I could have uh, thrown the dog and then use the <coughs> man, use the teleporter to make all my way up here. Cape, okay. nice soup. 
Nice! Uh, only two shopkeepers though. So I'm not going to be pushing for the Kapala. I will get in there. And bomb his ass, because that's just how I roll. Like so. Just out of spite. Just, just, just to see him die. Oh shit, I can't, uh... Yeah, I can't. Okay. It's like, uh, oh, I can't get back up. Oh, there you go. Alrighty, so teleporter, man. I should grab that teleporter. Teleporter is too awesome to pass up. There. <laughs> it took a little while. Let's go on with the teleporter. I'll just use bombs to destroy my old obstacles. I just love me some insta instant movement action right away. Gives me access to that. Great, oh yeah. Such delicious materials. That uh, parachute is going to be the biggest difference of all time. I'm going to pick up this boulder because why the hell not? Let's see if we can crush the idol. Let's do that. I think I, I threw a little too late. I, instead, it rode that boulder. Oh yeah. Did he get crushed? That would be badass. Nah. It didn't. Too bad. Okay, here's the Maddock. Do I want it? Not really. Don't really care for it. Let's do it anyway. That way I can uh, open up the area. Let's make a nice uh, staircase here. Fred has volunteered for dispatch to dispatch all of my flying foes. He's quite the nice guy. I like him. He's a team player. And he's just going to go down there and maybe he'll survive. <laughs> hey, he will maybe survive. You know what we're going to do? We're going to have all sorts of fun. Um, here. Why did I do that, you may ask? Because this happens. Whee! Off it goes. Oh man, they were already dead. I wanted to crush them. <laughs> that was the aim there. That didn't work out that way because they happened to kill each other, I guess. That's really weird. Alright. Nothing really to be gained by going this way other than watching the destruction that I have wrought through restarting that boulder. Too bad I wasn't able to do the pro strat and restart the boulder to crush them. That would have been so badass. That would have been really cool. Okay, we have a bit of a problem. Mustachio Mac problem. Problem, son. Mm. We can just ignore him. We don't need no shopkeeper. No dealing with no shopkeeper. Moving on. And let's see. Oh shit! I totally forgot about the bat. I was like, do 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 do. Let's just move on forward. I believe one bomb there will be good. Oh man, that pissed off the shocky. This should work, right? There you go. Good deal. Traveling forth into the swamplands. So what's on this side? Ready to be done. Okay, in theory, this works. Uh, uh, it was a pretty long teleport. There you go. <laughs> that was badass. That was awesome. <laughs> Disgusting asshole. I was too preoccupied with where my teleporter landed. Oh, yeah, it's not a, not a good idea to go down there. I should be able to double tap here. Oh, man. Got schooled by these jackass. I'm going to feed it to the plant. There you go. Beautiful scramble there. Alrighty. We get a Mr. Shopkeeper that should explode. Come on, get closer. Thank you. Goddamn frogs. Alright. So I don't think there was a. Uh... I don't think there was a. Uh... Oh my goodness, the black market, the, it was not here. I would have been... I got pretty close to everything in that area, so... I'll be very, very surprised. 
in the black market was actually in the previous level. Okay, I'll do the game by going that way, so I might as well do this. Alright. Hmm. I have to be very sparing with the teleporter. Otherwise, I get a little too enthusiastic. I just throw myself into into a wall. And then death occurs. Okay, this is promising. Oh boy, there's a crazy... Crazy, super crazy man in there. The shopkeeper's shotgun dropped in a very inconvenient spot, but I think we can grab it. Whew! Alright! <laughs> that was really close timing. I'm glad that it worked out the way it did instead of being humiliating. Let's go over to the other side. Oh, I don't need to use bombs for that. I can just use my trusty teleporter. Can the spikes, though? I, I was hitting space immediately, just in case I got teleported into the wall. There you go. I mean, I get teleported right above the, the spikes. No, I've been insta death. Only two points of health left because I've been running into things like an idiot, like a myopic moron. So hopefully we can survive long enough. This man is pissed off. For some reason, immediately he got pissed off. That weirds me out a little bit, but you know. Going to soldier on through, I suppose! Woo! <laughs> that was terrible. Alright, here's the black market at some point, somewhere. <gasps> Aww! I teleported straight into the ticket trap. I... Uh, I guess we got the bare minimum of a teleporting. And uh, it was... Just, wow, look at all the this deadly arrangement of uh, arrow traps. Uh, it was exactly enough to throw into that ticket trap. Man, that uh, was awful. I was using needlessly the teleporter, because I am just fancy like that. I'm a fancy guy. I like fancy clothes, and I do like doing fancy things. I am dope. My life is dope. And I do dope. That was a quote for some interview. I forget who would say that. Chris Rock talking about Kanye, mating Kanye West. Yeah, that was about some random shit that I was watching on, on YouTube. Don't, don't judge me. I watch things that, that are a complete waste of my time. Everybody does that. Always judging me, man. Stop it with the judgment. It's like a Catholic priest that kept touching my anus. It was really terrible. Really, really traumatic event. And you just keep reminding me of it. How dare you? Ow. <laughs> well, what are the chances of that? The chances are pretty slim. I would say maybe... Maybe... 1% chance... Of uh, jumping just right to get damaged just right by a spider that was hiding just right in that pot. Anyway, okay, we're going to stop being silly. Because I would like to have a nice visitation with Yama. We have a few bones to pick with him. And uh, I would rather, I would rather see him today. So let's uh, try. Let's start being tryhards. We're going to be nuts about the effort that we're going to put into this. Mm, I'm sad about the previous run though because not the previous one. I've seen the this disaster spider one, but the one with the cape and the jungle because. The move with the shotgun in front of the shopkeeper and picking it up and shooting immediately. That was one of my proudest moments ever. So I was I was pretty damn pleased with myself. I guess I let my guard down with the teleporter. I was just playing too fast and lose with it. But of course, you know, it's just a regular Spelunky run. So there's nothing at stake. Not that there's anything at stake in a freaking daily challenge. There's nothing at stake. It's retarded to think such things. But uh, still, you know... It's less of a thing mattering. I don't know why I'm getting there with that, you know. I saw uh, a little later that there is Shane right here. And Shane is going to meet Fantastic Cali Doom. And he's ever going to be so pleased about such fate. Because he loves it. He loves it with Cali. She treats him to excellent anal. Let's go in here and uh, murder all the enemies here. Pretty sure, yeah. 
Okay, this should bounce just right. We're pretty proud of that tossing. It then might not have looked like much. It's not what I want to grab. Go that way, spider. So like, ah, oh, come on, come on. Let's jump this way. Come here, come here, you foolish, foolish creature. I want to go back for my uh, firearm. Uh oh, okay, there you go. I'm ever so excited to shoot you in the face. To blow up your freaking eyes right there. Yeah. Okay. We're back on track. Back in the saddle. Let's move on through these mines. It'd be nice to at least see the. Let's uh, lower the bar a little bit. Ooh. And uh, go and say. You know, ice caves would be nice. <laughs> With that. There's a yet another shotgun. I wish we could we could dual wield the crap out of them, but we are not steroids, so we're stuck with a uh, little fish here. Right there. Might as well use a rope to get that extra point of health and or Kapala. I guess it's uh, only one or the other, so or Kapala. I'm going to safeguard you, friend. That is how much of a tryhard I'm going to be right now and say, I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you, Garrett. And get to the end of this gauntlet. Make absolutely certain there's no threats. Yeah, I think this is a very nice move. Just hang over here and start shooting. Take zero risk with these morons. And that music should stop anytime now. Please. Please. Please stop now. Please. Please stop. Please stop now. Please stop. Come on. Please stop. Really? You get stuck somewhere? I bet you I'll, I'll walk in there and the more I walk in there... It's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, okay, there's a vault, so I was just being a moron. Uh, let's get uh, in there. Again, out of principle. All these stupid blocks. No way. Here, have three bombs. That'll totally work. There you go. It gave him a little bit of extra effort there to get rid of this moron. Anyway, let's go back. Uh, we got the rope over there. Ever so convenient. I had just a premonition that we'll need it. I need a rope to get back. I'm not that I needed it because I could have just shug and jumped up here. But, you know, let's just claim more credit even though it's not due. With my, my incredible premonitions. I was very close to jumping into spikes there. I don't know if you realize that. But indeed, it was the truth. All right, so. Oh, no. Oh, Kali Altar to the rescue. I don't know why I'm getting this money. Same deal as usual. There we go. And right here, trigger that junk. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Cali out are real close to Belinda. So Belinda, I'm sorry, but your fate is sealed. Don't ask me why I'm also destroying those pots. They're just there. And I like to destroy them. Okay. Deal. Even more sh uh, bombs. Why couldn't this be a daily challenge seed? Alrighty, so we're looking for the... You know what? We're going to bomb our way in here. Because there's so many bombs as a reward. We're looking for the key. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Be careful, because that can happen. I'm so glad I was shooting. Otherwise, we'll be dead right now. I would just be completely and utterly deceased. So put a bomb there and speed up this whole process. work. I was kind of lucky, but it worked out, so I get to look like a pro. Um, I think that is low enough. Yeah. Where's the key, though? Must be under the exit, I bet. Oh, betcha! Yeah, because it's not here. Maybe it's in the corner at the top. I don't know if I went through the entirety of the top. But whatever happened to my key, I grabbed it, right? No, I did not. Go this way. Forget I have the Kapala, so let's make an effort. There's a chest. 
So, uh, should work. Just wanted to create a nice opening. Let's grab all that blood. Remember, we're being total tryhards here, so I'm not going to be taking silly, silly chances. I mean, I'll still do silly things. Like, I don't know, going to the jungle. Going to the jungle in the uh, ice caves and shit like that. But. Not going to, you know, take silly chances, like, ah, uh, YOLO, you know? <laughs> I'm not gonna YOLO. Even though, uh, even though that expression is loathsome. In and, for it, and of itself. You use it in a kind of ironic way, it's still kind of okay, I think? Is that is that the current status of YOLO? I don't know. Or is it just loathsome all around? It's hard to tell, man. Pop culture is hard. Uh, don't bite me. Okay, we have to resort to violence. I want it to be non-violent and just simply escape and let you live. But no, you just have to. You just have to continue nipping at my butt. Just like I told my wife, you stop nipping at my butt or we're going to have problems. And that's why now she's in the crawl space. Let's put a bomb there. They mean to implain that now she's dead. She's just in a... In a, in a you know, in a tiny jail cell. I'm not a monster. Uh, no uh, black market pings here, so let's move on. Move on, move on, move on. Too bad, no. Nothing really to break my falls. That ain't cool. And no climbing gloves either. So for now, this run is really, really stingy where items are concerned. Oh shit, he got pissed off. Okay, that should get him out of there. And he could totally jump over here, so let's not be rash. He said as he approached tentatively. Okay. That's a bad place to put myself into. Is there any reason to go down there? Not really. So just move on. Although, he is a shopkeeper. And I don't endorse shopkeepers. Ouch. This is bad. This is bad, but he's a little stupid, so I'm happy that things work out this way. Uh, he was not the brightest, not the brightest bulb in the house. Not the brightest bulb in the arrangement of light that I have before me. Um, okay. I guess I can get a little bit of blood by shooting all these fishies. I'm just uh, from the Saddam Hussein, a school of thought that uh, who needs fishing rods when you have grenades? When you have hand grenades. Using a fishing rod to fish, it's just tacky. Let's do this and a bomb here. We're going to do a multi-stage approach here. We're going to destroy the sticky trap because it's making me ultra nervous. Oh, well, that was bad. <laughs> I meant to pick up that bomb. That was sweet. Sweet. I, uh... It was possibly 50% calculation, 50% complete, another blind stupid luck. I should just claim credit for that because he was super badass. How, you know, I mean, I knew that, here's, here's what I knew and here's what was lucky. I knew that the, if I place the bomb there, it will go straight down. I did not really see the man until the bomb was going downward, so... I, uh, played it with my knowledge unawares that the man will be in the trajectory of the bomb. So there you go. No black market yet. Upsetting. But not out of the ordinary. And here's where we died in the previous one, so let's not repeat that. Please. We also have the Kapala this time around, so that makes everything that much easier. Okay, there's a black market at some point in this vicinity. Okay, maybe down here? Things pretty often here. On this side? Oh yeah, it must be back here. I'll betcha! There it is. Shall I go through without exploring the rest of the level? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. I doubt there's much to to lose, to miss on. Okay, we're going to hide, like I said. Keep, I keep saying, try hard tactics, safe stuff, no taking no chances. There you go. You have beautifully time bomb. I think I can get in here. Start shooting. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> 
I thought this jackass was a, was a shopkeeper, man. It startled the crap out of me. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. That startled the shit out of me. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep moving forward. I think I can drop down here and start shooting. Lots of bombs, nothing else, though. Really? Moving climbing levels, huh? Oh well, what can you do? What can you do? There's nothing you can do. Just move on forward, hope for the best. We do have 17 ropes, so that should get us covered in the ice caves. Unless I throw myself into the abyss by mistake. I mean, not on purpose. I suppose you do throw yourself into the abyss on purpose. You know? I do that all the freaking time. What a moron, what a stupid, senseless construction. What an idiot. Anyway. Just move on forward! See ya! Let's destroy that ticket driver because I hate them! Revenge! Revenge is mine! I need to get a little bit more extra blood. I don't think I actually grabbed any of that. So, 10 health is pretty cool. So good! And now, let's start the difficult part, which is navigating the ice caves without uh, any really good things. No, any good things. Dang, this is upsetting. I don't want Kali to be pissed off at me. I'm not rolling like that today. I have no interest in her anger. Okay. I should say to go down here. Did not expect that guy to move. What I do want to go is uh, to do is go into the warm here. So up here. This should be safe enough, right? There you go. And Mr. Man, we need... Ah, I could use the shotgun to make it up there. Okay, but now we have... Since I have so many ropes, it really doesn't matter. Now we have a nice, clear path to John. John Wick, he retired from being a hitman. And he walked off with his dog, but it didn't fulfill him. Uh, walked off with his dog all wounded and stuff. It didn't fulfill him, so he just dyed his uh, hair blonde and started being a gigolo. And just gyrating his hips in uh, strip tease uh, strip tease clubs for old ladies, he wound up in this really weird gig. He was going, he had an address for this gig, but he got turned around a little bit, ended up in a strange cavern. But you know, it looked kind of similar. He thought that he was going the right way, uh, but he ended up in this weird ice case where he just could not uh, find his way out. Poor John Wick. Do I get to die? To this alien. Okay, that was totally worthless. This is so dumb. Let it be said. Let it, let it be recorded. Uh, this is super dumb, what I just uh, spent like five minutes trying to do. I guess it wasn't five minutes, but you get the idea. Uh, it was super dumb to be trying to get those aliens just for uh, that uh, bundle of ropes. Pretty damn stupid. I'm wondering, we're in blazes. Are all the spikes? It's kind of weird. Ah, okay, oops. To wait for that alien to stop being a problem. We're slowly making our way down. Being careful. Ah, I did not know. I did not realize that the bacteria was traveling my way. Okay, so of course we're going to bump this. I ain't taking no chances no more. Especially with the stupid acid. I got boned so hard. This needs to explode. Thank you. Careful here. Careful here. I can survive an explosion. That is not much of an issue. Oh, right now I have to take it in the ass. Like that. Oh, right now. So let's do something like this. Yeah, that works out pretty okay. Oh, that blood. Holy shit. Too bad, uh, invigoration. Not invigoration, but death will happen after all this is done. That's a ton of worm. I mean, yeah, worms. A lot of them. Woo! Nah, whatever, man. <laughs> I really don't care. Look at the... I mean, I've been taking so many hits, and still my health total is just enormous. Just harvest a little bit more blood that way, for some reason. There is a benefit at the end of this. Don't you worry about it. Okay. There's some... Uh, reanimated corpses working in tandem there. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. 
scramble with the with the rock. And Jacqueline, you know what? You're going to stay there because I don't trust myself surviving this. Ooh. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay. 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 No. 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 I deny you, <laughs> Mr. Shopkeeper. You were ever so ready to destroy me forever, but instead, I taught you a lesson with the kind of enemies that would normally destroy me. Ha! Vindication. Beautiful revenge. Revenge twofold. Using an alien. Let's just get in there. Using an alien to kill the shopkeeper. That was pretty cool. I like it. I liked it. It don't matter. Eh, there could have been a shop. Eh, I should maybe explore these levels more. Because there could be a shop down there. Something that will help me out. A little bit. Oh, I cannot make it up there. Uh, 21 health. I can take two psychic blasts. That is pretty badass. Woo! I think I have time to shoot twice. Indeed I did. Shopkeeper. He's not here. I'll okay do that. Okay, so many explosions. I had the pitcher smith, so I cannot rely on my arc to dispatch this man. So it landed where I did not want it. But I needed to spend those anyway, so to be able to do that. There you go. Now they you. Everything works out. Alright. Hopefully uh, the arc of this. Nah, let's just use the rope here. That's good. Alrighty, so we have a pretty damn easy alien queen. I could just shoot from here. Really no big deal. I don't even need to use any bombs. I'm going to use at least one. That should take care of it. Indeed. Beautiful. Get myself to all the money. And off we go. It was easy as hell. And now we have to kill ourselves. Unfortunately, because I have 23 health or something stupid like that. 21. Uh, before we kill ourselves, however. Yeah, this plasma again is not gonna work out for me, is it? Before we kill ourselves, we want to get Jacqueline. Do we have a Jacqueline ready? We have we need to get Christina to the exit. Okay, okay. All that matters is Christina. I can die. I can die, no problem. There you go. Okay, he killed himself, so never mind. Let's get punched in the face. Oh, I wanted to get punched in the face. There you go. Oh, that would have been cool to get stuck into... It's stuck into a punching loop. Alright, I was hoping to survive that. Um, st stuck in a punching loop and I just get uh, my 21 health whittled down like that. So, there you go. Off we go into the abyss. Respawning into the Moai head. The fantastic fatal attraction that the forehead and the Ankh have. Oh yeah, into the temple we go. Without a weapon, with nothing but our wits. I mean, we do have the Chris knife. Oh, should be a nice boon. And in fact, we might be able to Chris knife Anubis if we have a good position. It doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes Anubis spawns in a in a manner that just makes it really difficult. Really difficult to get him killed. Almost. Got killed by that shotkeeper too. There you go. Thanks to the pitcher smith, that was completely trivial. Wow, look at that. That was super trivial. I don't know why, but oh, there you go. <laughs> but putting those two bombs there actually worked out really well. Okay, there's Anubis. Let's see if we can... Hey, uh, that was kind of close, but it worked out. It worked out. Ooh, no, no, no. Okay. I'm not going in there. I'm not going into double crush trap land. Even though it could be easy to escape. Need more bombs. I want to Chris have Anubis. That's what I want to get done. Kind of difficult though. He's in that bad spot, like I was talking about. Uh, is Anubis spawns in that pretty bad spot. It's very difficult to pull off the Chris knifing of the Dogman. I was hoping one of those would hit him. I'm pretty sure that he got roasted though. Okay. Hey! Oh man! I miscalculated that hardcore. I thought for sure I was much closer. So we're going to give him a little bit of leeway. I guess not. Oh, come on. 
It is being really banned. Thank you. Shopkeeper man! You dead. And we're going to bomb our way to the other side here. Just to get that extra little bit of health through the tasty, tasty kisses of Lisa over here. Lisa's going to be so great. She's going to be very, very thankful. She's going to be an old-fashioned lady and give sex as a reward. Not because she enjoys it, ju just because she is trying to reward her man. That's how things worked back then. To an extent, they still work like that. Oh, uh, where's my reward? I did this thing. You should open up your legs. That's the way a lot of people still think. Uh, anyway, let's get out of here. I have the beautiful, beautiful scepter. Bear in mind, no... Okay, I hope that corpse isn't going to dissolve and then the thing is going to come back to haunt me. That would be terrible. Okay, that's good. Um, I was to say, I was saying, I about to say something and then I clearly spaced it. Oh yeah, no climbing gloves, no... Resources, nothing. I mean, to navigate things, just, just the scepter. Pretty okay. Okay, not going in there. Not caring I'm one bit about it. No cape, no jack bag. Pretty damn challenging, man. Uh oh, that was bad. No, please don't. Don't, 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 don't. Wow, that was super close. Okay. If I use this here, it will go straight forward and then go back to this caveman, so let's stump him. Uh, it will still go back to this corpse, so we want to do something like this. Now it should be pretty damn safe to do something like that. Okay. It, it went somewhere, but just the important part is it did not go into my face. That's what really mattered. My try-hard attempt, I almost got ruined by a mummy comboing me to death. It was super close. Incredibly close. Okay, that's alright. I really do want to kill that man. Put that there. I think that'll work. Yeah, it did. Just wanted to get rid of the... The crush trap. This should also work. Okay. Alright. Keep blowing up all the awful threads that are. Oh! Whoo! <laughs> Went a little too far with my jump. Almost paid the ultimate price for it. This should be safe. Oh, I want... Don't kill all the freaking locusts. It's very important to gather that blood. Is there a crush trap here? Nothing. Okay, there's a still a Hawkman. I wanted to harvest the blood off, but it did not work out that way. Almost. I was very tempted to go through the exit, but that's not where we want to go. We're going to go into the City of Gold. All right. The shotgun is necessary both to defend myself and... To make it up to le high ledges. Ain't got no climbing gloves. Ain't got nothing. Okay. Carefully making my way in. Just hoping to get more blood out of that. So, I have to stir this lava. Man, look at this city of gold. It's just incredibly dense. There's a ton of money in the city of gold. If I've been saving my bombs. This would be a fantastic daily challenge seed. Other than, you know, the horrible... I don't know why I did that. Uh, the horrible uh, items, which are none. There's nothing. I have all the non-essential items, really. All the stuff that's like, you know, it's nice to have, but I, you don't really care much about them. Maybe with the exception of the climbing... of the uh, spike shoes. I kind of do care about the spike shoes quite a bit. Okay, we're going to be... Take it easy here. Open up that area first. Uh, I think we're going to trigger that and then do that. I'm being more gra gratuitous with my bombs than usual because I like the money. This is beautiful money coming my way. 
don't know why that was possibly unwise. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> but I almost went in there. I just wanted to destroy that. I almost went in there and got crushed. So that would be awful. I should have just stomp on these assholes. So then I just now realize that I have a Chris knife and I can destroy these corpses to get a little bit of extra blood that way. So that was silly. There was a whole bunch of corpses that I've been leaving behind. Mm -hmm. Hey, better late than never, right? Late than never. Okay. So I went in back in here, but it's alright. It's all good. I need to disturb those mummies whatsoever. Major Stupid the Fourth. He, uh, let's save him. I can do it. Oh man, is that too close? I'm sorry, Major Stupid. Okay, he's still alive. Alright. <laughs> uh, that bomb was a little too close for the poor dog. I think that is an optimal bomb. That is not the way I wanted things to go down. I was hoping to bomb him from the top. Wow, this uh, did not take long. That should work, okay. Alrighty! Through the exit. We get the safe dog, everything works out. Olmec is going to go down, look, bitch! So everything's working out so far. 46 minutes, I did not mean to make this so long. I guess I just got uh, caught up in all the try hardness of this endeavor. Anyway. Maybe there is a good item at the top with the crates. Let's find out. It would be nice to get a freaking item. A cape would be fantastic. A uh, climbing gloves that are not that unlikely from crates. Not working out so far. Could I have gotten both of these with just one bomb? Maybe. That's okay, we're getting bombs back, no problem. Nope, nothing. Usually... Uh oh, that's a bad jump. Usually you get all sorts of useless shit except bombs and ropes. Today we got the exact opposite. What a surprise! What an incredible shocker. Anyway, Necronomicon. I need a rope to get back down. Oh, and am I too far? Okay. Necronomicon is munching. It's a pretty damn good spot. Because we can start one level down, that means that uh, the way into hell will be really, really easy to get to. The thing is, I'm going to need a rope to get back up. Thankfully, though, I have a billion ropes, so it's so good. There we go. Alright, Mr. Giant's Dumbhead, come with me. We're going to go into a trip into a nice beautiful hot springs. You're going to be so happy to go down there. Alright, into hell. Oh boy, see if we can rush through the... Not rush, but you know, get past the hell levels without much trouble. Already. Oh, it's going a little too fast there. Eh? Hey! It's a cape! Yeah, there's going to be a billion uh, vampires here, so I'm not going to get fixated on one of the capes. I guess we can have the ultra cape. And that looks going to be fun! Oh man, he was the real thing. I'm sorry. I am sorry, Victor. So very sorry. Very sorry for your luck. Ouch. I desire this game. The Incredible Bouncing Corpse. Alrighty. Bomb my way down, 36 bombs. We're pretty damn, pretty damn covered. Where bombs are concerned. Just keep going downwards. Okay. Now I can just double jump like this, like so. Ooh, close deal, but... Saved my fast moves. This should be safe enough, right? <laughs> Worked out okay. Hmm. That was a little fast and loose. That was not try hard tactics. That was just this should work tactics. <laughs> That's a thing that I should be doing. Alrighty. 
Carefully descending. I think we can just go all the way down here. That's pretty cool. Glide. This lava is worth uh, is harmless. Whew. Oh shit! Oh, they're on fire! I have time, I have time, I have time. No, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. No! <laughs> I was so greedy. I wanted the shotgun. I was like, no, no, I can't go through. I need the shotgun. Oh, that was dumb. That was super dumb. That's okay. We got to hell. I don't go. Okay, all right with that. I hope that you enjoy yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, I bid you farewell.